Hi Kara Squad, it's your girl Kelsey and I'm back at it again with another video for you guys. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add this into your videos. So I decided that for this video I would show you guys how to do this because A, I find that there's not a lot of videos on YouTube actually showing you how to create this and B, it's also a super cool way that you can spice up your video when you're doing videos such as what's on my iPhone or if you want to add it into your video when you're showing like your Instagram to tell people to go follow you. So it's just a really cool aspect to add to your video to spice it up just a little bit more. So with that being said, if you guys do want to see how you can add the iPhone pop-up into your video please continue watching if you do like this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below and click that little bell button so you're notified every time I post a video and without further ado let's get into the video so the first thing you're going to start off with getting is your iPhone or whatever phone that you have. You're going to be able to do this with just using your phone. You don't need your laptop in order to create this. So that's the cool thing about it. The second thing you're going to need to do is download an app called KindMaster. So KindMaster is the app that we're going to be using for this video in order to achieve this pop-up. So the next thing you're going to need to do is go onto Google and you have to get a green screen and then you're going to download that. So after you download your green screen, the second thing that you're going to need to download is your iPhone. So depending on what iPhone you have, you type that into Google, but make sure that it's a PNG. So PNG is a transparent background. You need it to be a PNG in order for this to work properly. If it's not a PNG, it's not gonna look right. So. All right, so moving on, once you're done downloading the app, downloading the green screen and downloading the iPhone, your next step is to open up the app. So you're going to open up the app KindMaster and then you're going to create a new project. So to create a new project, you're going to have to click that little plus, the video with the plus, this middle button right here, click that. And then you're going to click the 16 by 9 ratio. So your next step is on the right hand side, you'll see that little circle wheel that we have going on just right over here. You're going to click media on the top. Once you click media, you're going to go to your photo. You're going to open up your green screen. All right, so once you have your green screen, the next step that you're going to need to do is go on to... Hey guys, as I'm editing this video, I just realized that you can't actually see the green screen that I imported into KindMaster because I have the green screen effect on my video right now to incorporate the iPhone overlay. So with that being said, I'm going to get rid of my iPhone overlay. I'm just going to show you the video that I took without adding the iPhone in it so that you can actually see the green screen. Layer, and then you're gonna click media. So once you click media, you're going to go to your video and find whatever video that you have that you want to use for this effect. So once you see that your video's popped up there, then you're just going to size it to the size that you want. So that looks about good to me. And then you're going to stretch your green screen by tapping on it again to fit the size of your video. So now that you can see the green screen is covering the whole thing of the video. So your next step now, you just click check mark, then you're going to go back onto layer, and then you're gonna go get your iPhone to layer on top of this image. So you're gonna go back to media, and then you're gonna go to photos, and then you're gonna go to your iPhone PNG. So now that your iPhone PNG is popped up, you're going to size it onto your video. So once you have it sized onto your video, you're going to have to do the same step as the green screen and then just stretch it to fit the entire video. Perfect. So now once you have that saved, you can play it to see what it looks like. And boom, you can see that the iPhone is on there and then you're scrolling through your images. So once you're done with that, the next step you're going to need to do is export it. So you're going to go to the top hand and you're going to export. You don't need to deal with any of this. This is just if you want to get rid of the watermark, but I'm going to show you how to get rid of the watermark that's on it 
without having to pay to get rid of it. So the next steps that you're gonna have to do is just import this into whatever video editor that you use. So I use iMovie, so what I'll do is airdrop this video from my phone to my laptop, and then I'll show you guys the steps that I take next. If you use your phone to do this, you do the same thing, import it to iMovie, and then follow the next steps that I'm going to be using. All right guys, so now I have my laptop here and I have uploaded my video into iMovie. So I'm going to be showing you now what to do in order to add the green screen onto your video and to take away the watermark. All right, so I have my green screen here and now what I'm going to do is drag it onto my image or to my video. So now you can see that my green screen is on top of my video but you cannot see my video. So what you're gonna do now is click on the green screen, then you're gonna go to this little square on the top here, and then you're gonna click green slash blue screen. So click on that, and then you can see that boom, the green screen's gone, and then the image is added into your video. So the next step that you're going to need to do is get rid of that watermark. So you can see that it says made with kind master. We don't want that in our video. So all you need to do for that is grab the little dot on the top here and then you're just going to slide it down. You're going to grab it on the other side as well. Slide it down and then save it. Boom. There you go. That watermark is gone. You don't have to worry about paying for it because you can still get rid of it for free. And then now guys when you play it you can see your video has been added and then you can literally put whatever you want within that video so if you want to use your Instagram your TikTok, if you want to do what's on my iPhone and do that same process you would literally go through the same process and just add it for whatever content you want to be into the phones all right guys so that is it for how I add my iPhone into my videos I really hope this video was helpful and I hope it was easy enough for you to follow so that you can create it for yourself for your videos if you guys did enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below and click that little bell button so you're notified every time I post a video. All the links to my social medias are listed down below, so definitely, definitely, definitely check me out on there. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>